you know, the See, body is very intelligent. It's meant to be healthy, and mm -hmm. if you give it the nutrients it needs, you you know, protect it and keep it away from toxins, it will, you know, keep you healthy. So, you know, I wish I could say that, you know, this particular oil cured my husband's Parkinson's. I cannot say that. But I can say that he was diagnosed now, I think it's been 11 years. And so he's now, 11 years later, 11 years how's later, he doing? Um, he's still playing tennis three times a week. Yes. Um, he was a musician his whole life. <laughs>
Uh, well, he started with tremors in his right hand. Okay. Um, and he had been working, you know, a very stressful job, and we had just moved, so, you know, we just didn't really think that much of it, but then it, you know, got to be too much to, you know, go without having it checked out. Right. So he had it checked out, and, you know, sure enough, you know, unfortunately it was Parkinson's, so... Mm-hmm. You know, everything that sort of seems like a bad thing at the time right. oftentimes turns into an opportunity. So I had all this time on my hands. I had a sick husband. I had, I mean, I was depressed. I was a mess too. Mm. Um, so I just started learning everything I could about natural health and, you know, ways to slow the progression of the disease. And to the disease him. he had. So yes, his disease. Okay, so, yeah. so you actually kind of in, engaged yourself heavily, involved yourself heavily in learning more about the oils because you wanted to know how you could help your husband. Well, at that point, I didn't even know about the oils. They weren't oh. on my radar. Okay. So I was just looking purely into, you know, nutritional things. Oh, okay. You know, I was suffering from the depression, which, you know, he was too, but, you know, the, the bigger issue at the time, of course, was his Parkinson's. So I just started learning about, you know, different ways to eat. He was like my guinea pig, you know, he tried... <laughs> Every supplement, every juice, every modality, you know, every everything. And That's he was a really good sport. Okay, it. good. Um, and I did that, you know, for a long time because all they could really tell us at the doctor was, you know, go to the Michael J. Fox website and, you know, read about treatments and drugs. And what happened when you went to the you know, Michael J. Fox website? Did well, that inspire you or did that scare you more? It actually scared us. I mean, considering he's had it for so long and he's got, you know, enough money to do whatever he wants to do, the fact that... He was still so symptomatic, which right. honestly was a little scary. So I did that for a couple of years, and I ended up taking a job for Earth Fair, you know, the healthy supermarket. Right, right. And yeah, I we did, all love Earth Fair. <laughs> yes. And I did their marketing and event work and whatever for a couple of years. And when I was doing that, people would come up to me all the time and say, you know, I got off dairy and my asthma got better. Or I hmm. stopped doing this and that got better and whatever. So I really started sharing you know what some people were telling me with other people and really found that I liked it so even though I had sworn off that I would never go back to school again <laughs> um, I went back to school to be a certified holistic health coach oh god okay yeah and I did a one-year program with the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and that was wonderful and I got you know my street cred so okay. <laughs> that's just good. giving people Jennifer advice you know right, right. backed up with some education so I became a holistic health coach I decided you know this makes me happy. Corporate America did not, so I'm going to do this, and that's when I learned about the essential oils along the way, and they just support you know my whole mission, everything that I believe in, that I was trained. That basically, you know, the body is very intelligent. It's meant to be healthy, and mm-hmm. if you give it the nutrients it needs, you you know protect it and keep it away from toxins. It will you know keep you healthy. So, you know, I wish I could say that, you know, this particular oil cured my husband's Parkinson's. I cannot say that. But I can say that he was diagnosed now, I think it's been 11 years. And so he's now 11 years later. 11 years How's later. How's he doing? Um, he's still playing tennis three times a week. Yes. Um, he was a musician his whole life, so he <laughs> plays his electric guitar in what we affectionately call an old man band. Okay. And, you know, some days are better than others. Some days right, are worse. You know, it's... And what's his name? His what's name was Paul. So Paul, I, okay. I, Congratulations, I Paul, that things are going well for you. If you're watching this video, yes. we're so excited and we celebrate your accomplishments and where you are today. So I'm My excited. My hobby of 35 years, I uh, to say this year. Oh, he, she's trying to get brownie points now, Paul. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, you know, significantly helped him. And honestly, whether it's, you know, Parkinson's or you know, any other disease or condition or even just somebody right. who's, you know, healthy like myself who just doesn't want any of those bad diseases. That's right. Just, you know, give yourself good nutrients. Everything that, like, your grandmother told you, you know, get more It's sleep, true, right? <laughs> eat more healthy food, eat less sugar, drink a lot of water. Well, I don't know about grandma. You know? Let me say this. My great-grandmother, yeah. one time she tricked me because I do believe in all of the holistic holistic approaches and everything. But my grandma, my great-grandmother in her 90s, she was cooking some eggs. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited about that. That's the best-looking pan of eggs I've seen in a long time. And I put a really big plate of it. I was like, this is tasty. It's flavorful. She said, oh, baby, that's just some brains mixed in with it. I was like, what? You don't mix some brains? I almost threw up just now. Let me, let me not oh, yeah. talk about that. I'm sorry. It, uh, so, yes, grandparents wow. do know best, but I would like for them to tell me if they're going to mix some brains of any animal into my food. That would be kind of helpful, don't you yes. think? In my professional opinion, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> totally agree, right? Yeah. So, but the good thing is with doTERRA oils, with essential oils, 
I, when I was researching it, I was finding that there are some, they have so many different options. Like, show, show some of the, all of the different. This is just my personal stash. You know, I've been using them for a number of years. That is amazing. And all of them mean different things and they work in different areas. And they, is it plant-based, right? Or They really do. The reason, if I can just take a minute and talk about doTERRA and why I chose that particular yes. brand. So they, you can get essential oils everywhere now, you know, even at the gas station. Right, right. But, you know, it's my like mission in life to educate people that there is a very big difference. Like most oils that they sell in the store um, are like chemicals that smell like lavender. Right. They have no medicinal properties and oftentimes they can be really toxic, especially for children and pets. So you just have to be really, really careful. What I love about doTERRA, you know, being hyper sensitive to chemicals and things because of the Parkinson's and whatnot, um, I wanted a company that the oils were potent. You know, if I'm going to use them, I want them to work That's and right. to be pure. So what doTERRA does, and is different than you know many of the oil companies out there, is they source their plants from where they grow indigenously all over the world. Mm. And they're the largest essential oil company, so they have you know the financial wherewithal to you know go to the best places right. and you know bring in the best equipment and scientists. And they're also a company that this isn't you know necessarily important to a lot of people, but it is to me. Right. When they go to a particular area, they bond with the community. They have something called co-impact sourcing, mm -hmm. and they want to make sure that the plants are grown sustainably, that the farmers are treated fairly. Oh, good. They partner so with So they them. care about the community, they really, really and they do. care about how the actual product is being developed in that community versus they it just really, being, just really give do. us the production, make it happen type of thing. And that's, a lot of these farmers have been, you know, sort of abused by, you know, perfumers and, you know, big companies mm -hmm. and things that just come in and, you know, take what they've got and whatever, but, you know, we treat them, you know, beyond fairly with compensation. Yeah. They help teach them how to like manage cash flow because a lot of the farmers, you know, they're they're poor and they have to sometimes harvest the plants before they're even fully matured because they need the money. Mm -hmm. So this way, you know, they can manage the money. They know that their families are taken care of. They're growing better crops and better products right. and whatnot. So they're just a wonderful company and they don't just, you know, like write checks for things. They right. send people over to help. They you know, they're in they have the helping hands. Is it helping hands? Or yes, something? they have a helping hands foundation, foundation right? Yeah. And a hundred percent of the donations go to helping the people in need. DoTerra pays for all the administrative costs. Yeah, I was so, reading that. That's yeah, a, it's a very impressive company. They are. And I, and I was, and one of the oils that I like is Balance because you know yes. I talk a lot about work life balance and how to de stress and decompose. And so when when I saw the Balance one, that's one I kind of fell in love with. Yes. And, and I noticed too a lot of hospitals use some of the doTERRA oils in their infusion. They have like some type of diffuser, machine, right? The diffusers. Yeah. So you can tell me. I don't. I'm saying what I think, but you can tell us what it really is. But how does that whole process work? Um, so they're called diffusers, and basically they're just you know very very low tech. It's super important to get good oils, but when it comes to a diffuser, you know they all kind of right. come the same, and you can get them from like you know. I have one I got for my car that's like ten dollars. Right. There are some that are hand blown glass. Yeah, they have whatever. some really high tech yeah. ones. I'm like, but basically, you just you know you put the water up to the line, you put a couple drops of oils in, you plug it in, and you know there's settings for how much mist you want to come out. Okay. But what it does is the the oils bind with the molecules in the air, mm -hmm. and then you're breathing them in. And we all have olfactory nerves in our noses that go directly to the limbic system in our brain. Right. So when you're breathing it in. Like you probably noticed with the Serenity or like yeah. you know, within seconds. And I you put some of that. This is the Serenity? Yes. Okay, I'm going to yeah. put a little drop because I did that right before we started on the show. And it is, it is, it is absolutely serene. It's exactly. It is. And that part of your brain, you know, with the, um, hmm. I'm sorry, you said the rub it system? back behind your neck, right? Just something. like rub it, breathe it. You can't really go wrong, you know, with good quality essential oils. But it works with that part of your brain that regulates mood and stress and yes. blood pressure. Um, so, you know, they're wonderful. And you had asked before, which I'm not sure I answered, but they are, you know, obviously plant. They're not necessarily, or I should say, they're not only plant-based. They right. are plants. So most of the essential Oh, they oils, are plants. They are. Okay, because you know, I kept seeing that when I was researching it. And I said, are they saying that they are plants or they're plant-based? And so you just answered a question that I, that I actually they're, had. They're the oils from the plants. So they can come from the roots, the bark, the flower, you know, depending on the particular plant. 
and most essential oils are steam distilled with the exception of citrus oils mm. so like you've you know peeled an orange right, or right. Like smelled it and it smells so mm -hmm. nice that's the orange essential oils that's on your hands oh and i love a citrus or citrus basically base. what it is yeah the citrus oils in particular are very mood uplifting mm. and the essential oils have both physical and emotional things that they can support with okay so any given oil you know can not only help with a number of physical type things but it can also help emotionally and i actually have a book here this is not brand based or anything it's an old you know lot uh, of you've read that book quite a bit <laughs> because it's, it's coming it, apart it's a good thing um, um emotions and essential oils so you can just look up like you know if somebody's so give a specific emotion, like give an example out of the book of some, some type of emotion that's linked to one of the essential okay, oils. So let's see, something that I get asked a lot. Um, well, if someone's sad, mm -hmm. there's a respiratory blend called Breathe. Oh, so the, in the book, it actually tells you which yeah. oil to give based on what the person is experiencing? Exactly. Okay, so sad. You know, as it, and know, what is it for sad? So there's always a couple of them. And the thing is, most plants, if you have a healthy plant, they all have similar properties. They're right. all to some degree, you know, antibiotic, antiviral, um, sedative, just some are more so than others. Mm -hmm. You know, like lavender tends to be a little more sedative, peppermint tends to be a little more energizing. Right, right. So whenever you have, you know, a symptom per se, there's gonna be quite a few oils that can be helpful. Some are maybe just, you know, a little more helpful than others. So for sadness, that respiratory breathe blend. So the breathe blend is wonderful for just opening your airways if you have like, you know, seasonal difficulties or right. you know, cold or whatever. But it's also good if you just need like breathing space or, you know, if you're sad, it helps with that. Um, let's see, what's another one here? Self-criticism. There's a metabolic blend that helps with that. The metabolic blend physically helps like regulate blood sugar and control cravings and manage Interesting. hunger. Interesting, okay. But it also helps with emotions related to like self-criticism and that sort of things. Well, let me ask a question about that, Are because you're saying different oils for different circumstances type of thing. Yes. Are there situations where you can't merge the different, like so since I just used the serenity, then would it not be appropriate for me to use breathe as well or can you mix and match the oils? Very good question. Um, you can absolutely mix and match them. Hmm. They're not like drugs. They don't like interact. Like, That's not like contraindicate or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. I I think of it. You know, when you say like, could I use a little of this and a little of that? Right. It's almost like if you were at a salad bar and you you know just added you know some onions and you added some peppers and oh, you know it's so not you can that kind of build your own, anything. create your own. So if you feel like, yes. oh, I'm a little bit sad. But I also don't like the way I'm criticizing myself. And I would like to just have a little more of a bubbly personality. You can kind of a la carte it. You can make your own absolutely. So there you have it. You can have doTERRA a la carte. <laughs> and you can build your own, create your own doTERRA experience. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. And you can use them for the most part. Um, and I'm talking about doTERRA oils here. Very important. Again, they're not all created equal. But you can take most of them internally. Okay. You can use them topically, and you can use them aromatically. Well, now, how do you take them? Because I've, I've seen the oils. I've done some research on the oils. And I've tried to visualize, how am I going to put that oil in, the, in my insides? Do I just drink the oil? Or how um, do you do that? Okay, so there's a couple ways. Um, most essential oils, and I'm sorry I keep going back to this, but I just don't want anyone to be hurt. Like, you, you have to take the really, really good quality oils, especially internally, because they can really hurt you. But with that said, if you're using, you know, doTERRA oils that you know are certified pure, mm -hmm. you can put a drop in water, which is great. Oh, you can make okay. your own little, like, gel caps. You, they're like $3 for 100 of them, just mm -hmm. little empty gel caps, and you can put them in and take it that way. Mm -hmm. um, you can do what I call the Mary Poppins way, just mm -hmm. like a spoonful of honey, which is great, especially if it's like local honey, because you get the benefits of the local honey plus the oils. Wow! You can put. But it's approved. Tea. It's approved to be put internally. Yes, they say actually right on on them here. Okay. There's a supplemental facts box, like you would see on any other type of processed food mm -hmm. um, and if that is on there then it means it's safe to take internally excellent and you can cook with them like you know i love like guacamole i'll put a drop of cilantro oil in that mm. fennel ginger whatever i make a lot of like homemade broth and i'll put like rosemary
rosemary and thyme and basil and whatever. That's awesome. It's a lot easier to do, you know, just like a drop of each. That's really um, good. Yeah. But if you want your family to have a little more, like, uh, less self-criticism of themselves, for example, you yeah. can put the, the criticism yeah. one, let, <laughs> critiquing yourself a little better. Yes. Yeah, Being so friendlier to yourself, is right? Assuming that's one that. that you can take internally. I just don't want to oh, right, tell right, you right. the wrong thing, but... Yes, both of those, and bergamot was the other one. Oh, but it tells you in the book what one is allowed to be internally digested yes. and which ones are just yes. mainly external use only. Yes. Excellent. So it's on the bottle and in the book, and then there's lots of reference books out there. There are apps for your phone. Right. So it's not like you ever have to, you know, be, be like you have to remember everything. So how do people go about getting to, if I get people that actually, once I told them that Gabe's Heart Foundation has a site with doTERRA, thanks to yes. you and your kindness, then they have asked about being a customer. And so how do people become a customer of doTERRA Essential Oils? Okay, uh, well, doTERRA is a membership-based company, you know, sort of like Costco, mm -hmm. basically. And anybody can purchase a wholesale membership for $35 for the whole year, and then anything that they buy, they save 25% off the whole year, oh. which is great if you're gonna be, you know, using a lot of products. And doTERRA has the essential oils, but they also have skin care and hair care and some cleaning products mm. and things that use the good oils which you know obviously i absolutely love um, so you can certainly get your own membership if you're going to do that i would contact you know kim or myself and no we contact can get you set wait, up. Time, time out everybody <laughs> contact jennifer okay contact so me. jennifer what is your contact information <laughs> Okay, so you can leave that on the show, but I just, I just don't need them to call Jennifer. Okay. You're a lot more better known and stuff than I am, but if <laughs> they, you can't they, find me, she will refer you to me. I will or refer Cassandra you to Jennifer. will refer you to me. <laughs> okay. um, but anyway, and I will help you get set up with that. And the reason it would be great to go through me is that I can make sure that you affiliate it with the Gabe's Heart account, so Gabe's Heart will benefit from any purchases that you make. It doesn't cost you any more at all. It's just the way it's set up. doTERRA doesn't do big billboards and TV, you know, advertising. They offer commissions. You mean you didn't bewitch them? The I did not <laughs> you them. did not bewitch the doTERRA? <laughs> I did not. Okay, that's um, funny. So that's one way. And then the other way that's probably, you know, just easiest if you wanted to just start off with a, you know, particular thing or two to try is just go to the website that I've set up for. Games. What's that website? And that website is my.doterra.com I'm sorry my.doterra.com backslash Gabe's Heart okay my.doterra.com backslash Gabe's Heart so that's going to be right there you'll see that right there on the screen and you'll be able to go there if you want to become a customer of Gabe's Heart Foundation thanks to Jennifer and you'll be able to order products that way if you'd like to reach Jennifer she's provided her information as well, which will also appear right here on the show, for you to be able to reach out directly to Jennifer to learn more about the overall doTERRA experience, because it is an experience. I mean, between sharing what emotions are associated with the essential oils and sharing all of the different entities and opportunities and options that are available, I'm pretty impressed thoroughly. What is that that you're holding? Thank you. So this is an iTobi scanner. And we don't have time to do it right now, but if you know anyone is interested in knowing more about the oils and wants to talk to me or meet with me and smell them or whatever, I also have this cool scanner. Mm. And basically it uses galvanic technology, um, similar to like a Fitbit and those right. kind of things. Yes. And That's what I was thinking when I saw it. Yeah, and you just hold it like that so mm -hmm. it makes a complete circuit. And it basically sends gentle frequencies into your body and it compares them with the frequencies that have been already you know, entered in the algorithms mm -hmm. for the oils and the um, supplements. And it basically, it doesn't prescribe anything, but it reports back what your body is reacting to most favorably. Okay. So, I mean, I can try to, you know, suggest if you have this going on, this might help you. But and that device can help you determine yes. that. Which, which oils would work best for my body? Yes, exactly. Wow. And yeah. how long does it take to determine that from that device? Um, like, what's the time frame? Oh, the scan itself takes less than five minutes. Oh. But then you get a full, kind of like a, a, a panel, an overview of what is going on diagnostically with me. Yes. You're able to diagnose my situation and then say, so these are the five oils I recommend for you. Yes, and it doesn't say like, you know, you have digestive problems or you, you know, have breathing problems. Mm -hmm. it does, it's not that specific. But what it does say is it, it measures the 
the frequencies and it compares them to the constituents of the oils. Mm -hmm. So if you need, or not need, but if your body is reacting to more like linalool and squitterpenes and things right, like right, that, right. it finds the oils and the blends that have those the best and then it reports those oils wow. and or supplements. That's, that's high so tech. It's a wonderful tool. That is a very high tech. Yeah. So every doTERRA rep needs to have that when they're doing their business calls and it's and helpful you don't you know absolutely need it but it, it seems it really, like it would be you know, very it helpful <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is for sure so now you're very analytical and i love it and so my thing is what what do you equate who you are today to where you came from like as you were growing up because some, something in your childhood probably helped mm -hmm. to have you grab hold to this concept of who you ultimately became you said bewitched <laughs> you know watching the show whatever it is what was it that you you kind of attribute your who you are today to where you've been okay. in your past. That's a tough question. I literally grew up eating like you know every processed food there was, <laughs> and you know tang and Pringles, and I did not grow up in a household of you know healthy food and things. Right. Because, you know my mother did the best she could, but at the time you know it was convenient, and that's what people did. Mm -hmm. So none of the health you know interest came from that at all. That's funny. <laughs> You know, the health interest really just came from, you know, 10 years ago after the Parkinson's diagnosis right. when I started seeing, like, oh, my God, just, like, cleaning up and eating real food and not processed food. Mm -hmm. My husband lost, like, 35 pounds just, like, not wow. not changing anything that he was eating, but just eating, like, better quality versions of and it. And he saw and that so drastic processed. of a weight loss. Yeah, he really did. And, you know, when you start, you know cleaning the gunk out of your cells and right. things like that. You get more energy, you have less pain, you don't need to, you know, be hanging on to toxins and fat. Mm -hmm. um, so that's where, you know, the food helps, the oil helps. I'm a really big proponent on the supplements because I just don't believe that anyone can get everything they need these days. You know, the soil's been depleted, everything's processed. Right. So just, you know, the combination of the oils, all those good things that I mentioned before, mm -hmm. you know, that really helps. But as far as what made me do that I don't know with your husband when that yeah. diagnosis kind of came about I mean the philanthropic side of it my mm -hmm. parents are both you know very active my dad's been involved with Rotary International forever He's oh, past cool. district president and, uh -huh. you know he does a lot of um, volunteer work and goes to you know foreign countries and places and brings help and whatnot so right. the fact that this company has such a good heart and they're so mission-based mm -hmm. that really spoke to me wow that's a that that's a good connection for sure for sure and you have you have two children right tell tell us about your children okay uh, just uh, one other thing on the tail end of that other thing that really helps with this business model too it's set up for residual income because i know as well as my husband is doing now there's mm -hmm. going to be you know point in time where i'm going right. to be needing to help him more and work right. less so right. the whole you know business model with residual income is so with Deterra, helpful as with, well. okay. So with Deterra, there is actual a residual income component, yes. and so if that's something that you're interested in learning more about, once you do reach out to Jennifer, she can explain how the business side of Deterra works too. Not only does the the components from the actual plants, now that I can speak very intelligently <laughs> about that, the oils that are being extracted from the plants, that's what it is, right? Yes. I, I, I sound like an expert yes. on this. You do. <laughs> so anyway, the, all of the oils are good for a lot of different ailments and emotions and things of that nature, even though obviously no medical claims can be made for those, but they have worked tremendously and even in her personal experience with her husband being able to be married for 35 years and now being able to completely go back to doing some of the things he couldn't do you know for a long time and you say he lost 35 pounds he did yeah 35 yeah. pounds and you've been married for 35 years yeah that's okay right. you didn't got a lottery ticket or so something 35 years yeah. 35 pound weight loss 35 dollar membership 35 dollar <laughs> membership my gosh and so there's a lot of 35s okay if you play the lottery or whatever she said you know with the lotto ticket or whatever and so yeah i would have to go in and get a formal tutorial if i tried to play the lottery. i'd be like how do you tell me what you do give me a to z on the lottery let me not digress the point is bewitch that. <laughs> oh you can bewitch it right <laughs> So doTERRA sounds like a great business opportunity and it sounds like it's definitely a good product from the perspective of some overall emotional healing and some different things that can help with body aches and soothing and even additions to your food, additives to your food. So uh, it's exciting. I turn to the oils for you know 98% of what comes up. 
mm -hmm. the oils can really help with. I mean, certainly if you need medication, you know, nothing against right. medication. Do what your but, doctor say on that regard. Yes. But for most things, you know, just having the oils has been, you know, life changing for me. And there's so much science behind it. Um, there's a lot of, you know, university studies that hmm. are done. And you can go to um, PubMed.gov, like the government. Pub? PubMed.gov. Okay. And, just, and what is that? It's what, the that? government. Um, I mean, what will they find there? So, well, they can research, you know, like if you wanted to look up, you know, frankincense essential oils. Oh, okay. Or, you know, frankincense plus cancer, you can look up if you would like and, you know, see studies that are done on that or, you know, so pretty much. So all kinds of information yeah. and statistics and inf informative data about yes. the oils. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, it sounds a little fluffy, but they're really, I mean, there's science and they work. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's and, a good and back thing. to my kids. Sorry, nothing oh, yeah. to take away from that. <laughs> you have two um, children. Yes, I which have are two adults. wonderful children. Um, my daughter, Samantha, not uncoincidentally the main character on Bewitched. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so you named I her. I tease her all the time. You were named after whatever, but remember like what a strong, capable character right, right. that was. Yes. Whatever. Um, so she is recently married and her last name is Eaton, E-A-T-O-N. And I mentioned that because her business is Healthy Eaton. Oh, and she's a I'm actually going to probably well. have her on the show too because I know terrific. she's on another show a lot and yeah. I'm definitely going to She's a lot more on. relaxed and comfortable in front oh, of Oh no, camera. you are a fantastic but, guest. Uh, Please uh, know uh, that. Uh, <laughs> um, but she's wonderful and I'm, I'm so proud of her. She is a health coach like I am, but she specializes in working with people about like the psychology around eating. Okay. Um, a lot of people that have been like yo-yo dieting forever and you know until they are really ready to you know change their mindset and right. understand She's very anti-diet with restrictions and counting. She's right. had you know much better success with people just you know working to change their mindset and you know learn some tips and things. And um, she's got yeah. wonderful testimonials, and I'm very proud of her. Well, you are a proud mom. Yes. Yeah, I will definitely be having her on the show if she'll come on. But. Yeah, she's here in Charlotte, and then my son is out in Las Vegas, and he's just kind of doing his own thing. You know, honestly, he didn't take a career path, an education path that I would have hoped for him. But, you know, he's happy and he's doing his own thing. And that's a good I thing. I love him too. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So proud mom of two adult children yes. and owner of a business that's bringing in residual income, married for 35 years. So it's a lot to this wonderful woman, Jennifer Trombley. And I am, I'm excited about you being here today, but I want to make sure too that any tips that you have, especially since a lot of the people that watch my show, some of them are busy women, they have children. They're trying to figure out how to balance a lot of different aspects of their lives. Some of them are looking for like work from home kind of jobs where they can work on a part time basis, but still be able to get out in time to go pick the children up for school. What kind of advice would you give those people that would be watching that, that's in my community? In terms of using the oils or in, in terms, terms of, of business? any advice that would come from Jennifer Trombley, whatever that advice might be. Oh, that's it can be about the oils, it could be about the business, it could be about your kid here, whatever you want to say that's like. Take it from Jennifer. There you go. Take this advice from Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, the best thing, in my opinion, that you can do for yourself, your family, your children, your pets, is to just stay away from processed food and sugar as much as you can. Obviously, you know, we all have to live and, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But do your very best, you know, to drink more water and get more sleep, as I mentioned a couple times. The essential oils are wonderful. They're wonderful for helping to keep bad things from happening. Um, there's one in particular called On Guard, um, and it comes in a bottle this size. And basically it's got all the heavy hitter antioxidant oils, clove and rosemary and mm. whatnot. And I recommend that you get a drop of that in an, or on you every day. It just helps, you know, I call it a cootie shot in a bottle. <laughs> it just, you know, helps to fight germs. It helps to strengthen your immune system. So I would definitely do that. Good. You know, everybody's busy. No one has time to be sick. Right. Um, if you do happen to, you know, have something come up, you know, you pull the muscle, there's a deep blue essential oil. It also comes in a rub. This is just a little sample size. It comes in like a toothpaste. But it's wonderful for any kind of sore joints, sore muscles. Interesting. It just Does you know, it have a smell? Does it smell like Bengay? It does. Well, I mean, it has a menthol -y smell, but I was just going to say it smells better. It works better. Okay. It's safer for you. And I don't know if it's cheaper. I don't know how much the other <laughs> one is. Um, but this is sort of like an aha or like any, everyone that uses it's like, oh. God, it's wonderful. So that's a really good one. Um, you know, just to educate yourself, the oils, 
you had mentioned like for kids, this is a kid's kit. Oh, okay. And this comes so a is it like less dilute, diluted it is. or something? They're already diluted. Di okay. More um, diluted, that's what I mean. It's right. more diluted and like this is a calmer blend. This is a brave blend. Is it a spray bottle get, or how does that? Um, more confidence. This one. No, these are roller bottles. Oh. So you can just roll them on. One? Wow. And what I love, you know, besides the fact <sighs> that they work, is they just empower kids to, you know, if they're courage this is a cur it actually oh my goodness okay listen you guys it actually says brave and then it says courage blend on here so it's telling so when they rub this on they feel like they're more courageous they are and it's not just like you know they they feel like they're more courageous isn't what? that nice it actually has you know oils in it with properties in it that work with those frequencies and vibrations in your body that gives them that more cord. those uh, emotions. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And how much is a kit for some? Well, we can talk offline. I mean, but definitely. Yeah, there's different if you, prices. You can get them individually. You can get them as a kit. This one here. This is tell, incredible, you guys. This, this little kit comes with these little carabiner tops on them with different colors so kids can just like attach them to their backpacks or whatnot. And, and they're not just for kids, but this particular that is really amazing. Is and what what is what is the wording on another one? Give me another one. Let me see. The one in your hand, for example. One in my hand. What does it say? Let's see. Oh, so if they are needing to get more rest at night or just calm down, say if you have a child that's really overactive in school, yes. they may want to have this attached to their backpack and rub on them, and it's just it's it's a calming factor, and it's called a restful blend, calmer. And teachers this was, love these. <laughs> the teachers love this, according to Jennifer. This What's is that? the thinker one, and this is for focus. So get out of here. Okay, so I yeah. need that kit. I can order that from Gabe's Heart Foundation. You absolutely can. Okay, then I'm definitely going to need to order the the kid kit because I, I have <laughs> to get some of this oil on my children at home. I might go start dousing them in their sleep and be like, "Okay, you're gonna get this. You're gonna go. You're gonna calm down. You're gonna." No, I'm joking. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> But the point is, this is amazing. Thank really you so are. much, Jennifer. And I heard you mention pets. Talk yes. about that real fast. So I am actually putting together two presentations for this spring that are new for me. I've been doing like essential oil 101 and intro to essential oil. But I'm doing an essential oils class for gardeners. Hmm. And I'm doing it at the Stowe Botanical Garden okay. um, on the 20th. And I'm doing it at the Bell Johnson Rec Center on, I believe it's the 28th. It's on my website. Hmm. Um, and I'm also putting together a presentation for essential oils for pets. And when you say your website, what, what's your website right quick? And then go back so, to the okay. pets. So what's I am the Essential Oil Lady. And my website is theessentialoillady.com. TheEssentialOilLady.com. Make sure you look at Jennifer's website. Now go back to the pets. What? Yes. Why did you say anything to do with oils and pets? How so does that Essential relate? oils are wonderful for animals as well, but you have to be very, very careful which oils you use, how pure they are, how you use them, how you dilute them, which animals you use them with. Um, but for, you know, a lot of dogs get very anxious Fourth of July. Mm. There's oh yes, essential oils that help <laughs> calm them down. Like a wolf at Fourth of July. I know. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm like, calm down. It's all those fireworks are just sitting there soaring. Well, the oils just like they help, you know, sedative for people. They help <laughs> with animals. If your like dog gets car sick, there's a digestive blend that helps for people, but it also helps for animals. What about when they go to get their just regular bath? And my dog, you, you think she's going to the lecture, she's like, oh, sure. oh I calm down, Ronnie, it's okay, sweetie. I'm not gonna leave it. She's grabbing my leg. I mean, she's a labradoodle, and I've had her for ask you what kind 13 she years. And she's grabbing my leg, I'm like, and I know that people are so nice to her, so I'm not, you know, I'm like, I'm not concerned about that. But I can't believe that she's just like holding off a dear life. And I'm like, Brownie, let me go. So maybe if I douse right, a little bit of oil sure. on her. Yeah, lavender her. oil, you know, okay. just like it's relaxing. But like my dog, for whatever reason, she doesn't like lavender oil. You know, I always do a little test and never smell. And she's, you know, one of those. Mm -hmm. But there's one called Pettigrain hmm. essential oil that's similar that she likes. And it is very calming. Um, and again, you like, I know you were kind of like half joking, like I'll douse them or whatever, but what's great about essential oils, and especially these, is literally like one drop is all you need most of the time. And a bottle this big has 250 drops in them, so they're very economical. That is very, yeah. that's that's incredible. So there are 250 drops, and let me hold that oil bottle. In this particular size bottle with doTERRA, there are 250 drops, and you only need one drop to make it 
work effectively according and to what size Jennifer is 85. said. And this drops. and the smaller size has 85. So if you drops. have like a you know terrible tension pain or whatever, mm -hmm. if you take just like a drop of peppermint, usually works best for me, and just like put it behind your ear. You know, usually in about five minutes it's gone, but if it's not, you know, maybe like 15 minutes later, do a little more. It's not like if you did like 10 of them or whatever. Right. Um, so it's, you know, they're very economical, they're safe, they work great. Um, you can get most of the oils individually. There's this thing called Symphony of the Cells, which is not part of doTERRA, but it's obviously I would use doTERRA oils with them. But what this is, is different protocols for mm -hmm. different things. So there's like a hormone balance protocol, and it just tells you 10 steps. You use frankincense, like under the nose and on the bottom of the feet. Then you use a little carrier oil. Then you use wow. time. So you have every guide. These are like self-help guides a to be able to. digestive protocol. So it's like, you know, in my opinion. digestive protocol. And it tells you. Different things you can do. And it tells you where to put the oil on certain body parts. Where to put them and in what order. That's and, incredible. You know, you can certainly just use a little dab and make it simple and it usually works. Mm -hmm. But if you really, you know, want to be very more intentional benefit, about you, it. Yes, exactly. Right. You can do, you know, like a whole protocol with them. But most of the time I'm telling you just, you know, put it on your hands, smell it, rub it around. Like that usually does the trick. And, you know, I really do believe, you know, and not too long from now, you know, every home will have essential oils. It's it's too expensive to get sick and healthcare, who knows? <laughs> yes. But it's just, you know, really important to get really good pure ones. Well, Jennifer, for you to come on the show and say you don't you don't talk that much and you're all that you are a girl by you enjoyed yourself and you were totally relaxed and at home. Were you comfortable? I was. You're you were great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I did share on. that I was really nervous before I started. Oh no, but in a, I'm saying the point is it's you're such a wealth of knowledge is my point. Thanks. Regardless about some nervousness, you are you were a wealth of knowledge on this show. And every one of you should reach out to Jennifer Trombley at the Essential Oil Lady dot com essential the essential oil lady dot com and make sure that you connect with her to learn all of this different information that she's sharing that could really change your life so thank you so much for being thank on my you. show today i appreciate it may so. i give you a little gift absolutely so this not only was just a little prop this is a gift for you oh, and this is the wild orange essential oil oh. and i call that the happy oil i want you to unscrew it and okay. take a sniff because it's almost impossible not to smile when you smile oh just my gosh it. okay let me see i put myself out there here but i know you're gonna smile Hmm, it is citrus based. See? I love this. It's just, it's this wild awesome. orange. It's wonderful in a diffuser. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like it. If you like like vanilla yogurt or something, you can put a drop in. It tastes like a creamsicle. Yeah. Again, I love it's this. one of the oils Thank that you. helps elevate mood. Not You strike me as being a very happy, optimistic person, but I if am. you're around anyone that is less happy or you know a little grumpy. Now I'm going to be like, too happy. They're going to be like, can you get that oil off your body if you're going to be that happy around me? Tone it down. <laughs> like, little, no, me. I have, I have wild orange citrus oil, so I am going to be all over you today. <laughs> this is exciting. Thank you so, so much, enjoy. Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show today. Oh, my pleasure. And thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in today to The Kim Jacobs Show. Make sure you like, subscribe. Please share some comments. There are all kinds of shows that I've been posting on here on The Kim Jacobs Show. I love to hear your comments, your thoughts. Pour out your emotions about some of the shows that I've already aired and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you can know when more shows are coming out. I am so glad that you tuned in today. Thank you for being my special guest, Jennifer. And thank you for being a part of the community, the Kim Jacobs community. I appreciate you so much because without you, the show couldn't even happen because I wouldn't have anybody watching. So thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in today. And until next time, have a great day, everybody. And go check out the TheEssentialOilLady.com. Bye-bye.